it's not starting out so well, but it could have been a lot worse. Mom was just saying they're like, stop, stop. Sorry about that, parents. <laughs> Cool beans. <laughs> Get it. Certified. Work smarter, not harder. You're so funny. <laughs> the whole family affair this weekend. It's great. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It is uh, Wednesday. Just another typical day of waking up helping Mark fill the drill, which we just did. We have a bad tire on the one wagon, so we're just getting that filled up. And we're gonna head into town and pick up a wagon load of some certified seed. Uh, it's been waiting there for a while. We just haven't had time to go grab it. So, yep, we're, uh, we're chomping right along. We just need a few days more like this. It has been, it's been perfect, uh, no complaints, which is a big deal for me because all I do is complain, I swear. Okay, we just got back from town. We have to actually move our auger that we filled that bin, believe it or not. So I think we are moving into our next bin. I don't know if we filled it or we just won't have room to finish this field. So he's doing that right now. It's a big auger. It's very awkward to find the spot for it. But he always seems to be able to do it. Not me. So this is what we took off yesterday. That's about a 68 acre chunk. So it's kind of, this is Mark's uncle's house right here. So uh, it's this little triangle field. He hates this field, <laughs> it's a bit of a pain. And then there's a little water grass strip right here, grass waterway we call it, in case there's ever a big flood. And then on the other side, uh, that's the, it kind of completes the square and then goes around his house. So that's that side, that's the south side. And then we're working on the north side today and there's another 65-ish, 60, 65 acres on this side. And this is a nice field. It's nice and long and pretty square. Uh, there's another field back there that makes up the three fields. So 68, 60-ish, and then another 60-ish back at the back there. yet another field so yeah six another 60 acres done and in the books we are gonna I'm jumping in the truck and taking the header down to yet another field it's a small field it's actually where we had the canola a couple years ago so I think it's like 17 acres oh man I gotta 
I gotta sit down with Jess and get a full tutorial on how many acres each field is. And no one is gonna quiz me because I will fail. Anyways, Mark is just coming up with the combine here. We're gonna detach the header. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get them started and then I'm gonna continue emptying out these wagons off this field. But I think, I think they're all running pretty good. We're very, very lucky. We either got more rain than we thought we did or the genetics on these soybeans are phenomenal. I'm sure it just depends who you talk to. We have arrived to our probably last field of the night. Maybe, unless Mark gets anxious and wants to do another one, but yeah, just a wee little field here. 22 acres is what Monty told me, so I stand corrected. Welcome to day six of soybean harvest. It's not starting out so well, but it could have been a lot worse. This is the only fatality, and that's like a little finger on the on the header. Just let's do a background before everyone tells us that we should pick stones. We pick stones on this field for days because this is a field that got uh, field drainage in it last fall. So this field was a mess last spring when we tried to get it leveled out and tried to pick stones. Anyways, we picked up a stone, a rock, the size of two of my heads, probably like that. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't go through the combine. It didn't even get to the stone trap. It actually just kind of got caught right in the feeder house. So like right where the, the reel brings in the crop into that first, like the mouth, I call it. I think that's the feeder house. Anyways, uh, so it was kind of plugged right there. So he was able to reverse it out with a wad of beans. And the only thing that came out besides it was this. So I think we're okay without one of these. Um, so that's all you guys have missed. But Mark is getting very tired. Uh, there was another little incident yesterday as well. And I'm like, he never makes mistakes like that. So they're the kind of mistakes that makes you want to throw up a little bit. Because you're like, that could have been really, really bad. And uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, we've had two very close calls with the combine and uh you're talking a lot of money and my problem both mark and i are are worried when it comes to anything going wrong with the combine or uh anything with wiring or anything is like getting parts so uh we're pretty well stocked but you just never know it'll be a stupid thing that no one has and then you're you're out and we have such great conditions that every day is like you gotta go, you gotta make use of every good day. So anyway, that's all, that's what happened today. Uh, so yeah, and he's also, he's not feeling great. I think he's really run down and uh, I would offer to spell him off, but I get up so early that when he goes out for planting at night, like literally when I'm unloading wagons in the dark, I'm tired, like I can barely stay awake. So I'm more of a morning girl and for like really early morning, there's too much dew for me to go out on my own. So he's been just doing everything. Honestly, I've just been running wagons and Monty's been running buggy, but Mark's been doing the heavy slugging with uh, harvesting and planting. It's that soybeans is the hardest harvest for us just because we're three people isn't enough. Four is perfect, but who are you going to hire for like, you know, two weeks basically every year anyway i'm sure they're out there but <laughs> we're also very stubborn <laughs> I don't know, 
know if you see that ominous sky over there, but they are calling for rain coming in tonight a little bit. But we have gotten from that fence row over there to that good looking guy over there completed today. This field isn't huge. I think this is another 68 acre field. Uh, and unfortunately it's too bad because we have a field right beside it that's like a 83 I think and we are gonna these two fields are connected now but this side was seed soybeans and the other side is just uh, crusher soybeans I believe so we actually had a had to cut a pass in between the two fields uh, called an isolation strip and you do that so your seed beans can't at all be contaminated like if the combine swerved and hit which it doesn't with this one but it could grab you know one that maybe fell over from the from the field right beside that was poor planning because this would have been just a nice big field for mark just to keep going but to be honest this is our last soybean seed field uh, that's why we moved to this field next even though we're not putting wheat here um, and we did that just so we can shut the auger down, close the bins up, especially before this rain. And then uh, we only have to run the beans through the elevator again, which is a lot nicer for me. It's a bit, it's a bit challenging uh, lining up to that auger every time. I know I make it look really easy. Uh, there's a reason I don't show you guys because I'm usually cursing. I actually use pop cans now. I'll squish a pop can and put it under front tires on the first set of wagons and the back set of wagons so I know where the wagons have to stop. So that's kind of a little hack that Mark taught me a long time ago. Well, if you're Canadian, happy Thanksgiving. We are reunited with our offspring this weekend, uh, today being Saturday. We are just waiting to get back in the fields, to be honest. We've had a few little just streamers off the lake. If it was any colder, it would be snow, but in our, in our case, it's just a little bit of drizzle. So Mark figures a couple hours we'll be at soybeans again today. Uh, but yeah, in the meantime, we're gonna head back to the cabin. We got a delivery last week or two weeks ago, our wood stove. So we are gonna, while we have the kids here, I think it's 300 pounds and that is far too much for this old lady that's just done a number on all her bones. We're gonna use our kids, use the young ones while we got them. Certified. say I'm really happy the whole family's home even though we're in the fields we typically you know what the thing is called that I connect to is it called you green yeah we typically are in the fields on 
Thanksgiving weekend because it's prime kind of harvest time for us, early October. Uh, the U.S. Thanksgiving, I always say, is way better for farmers because it's like after harvest. Our family is really quite accommodating, like my parents don't even try anymore. And uh, Mark's dad and his partner, uh, they they had already said we weren't going to have Thanksgiving to like the 30th of October, which would work really good. And they are totally trying to accommodate us, which is really, really lovely. All right, so we are nosing into the soybean field where, uh, where my market babies stay and the golden girls so I get to see my golden girls if they actually venture outside today it's pretty cold um, but yeah this is our second last field our second last farm I should say the other farm has a couple fields in it we have been stockpiling manure here uh, over this year so we're not planting wheat here but we want to get this field off because we want to get this manure spread before the weather turns kind of gross and then Mark wants to actually strip till these two fields so the field we did two days ago and the field that we're doing today they're kind of combined they're joined up now we're hoping to have about a week between corn and soybeans to get caught up in some of this stuff so that's why we're nosing into this field today instead of the one that we want to plant wheat we only have 60 more acres of wheat we want to get in so we figure we should be good before the next rain I always forget how exactly to turn on this camera because mine and mom's look really alike but our record button is in different spots so this is my second time filming this but right now dad is probably calibrating some stuff I don't know he's just kind of sitting there can you see him in the background yeah we don't really know what he's doing so it is currently Thanksgiving weekend we have some decent weather which means no rain so we are in the fields probably hopefully all weekend and I have been recruited since I'm actually home for once. I've barely come home at all since school started. I've come home, I think twice, and it's Thanksgiving, so. Sorry about that, parents. <laughs> but yeah, so I have been recruited on the buggy for the weekend probably, um, or at the very least today, so that's lots of fun. It's been a while though since I were on the buggy because even in the summer during wheat harvest, I only ran it for like a day maybe. So this could be a little interesting. You never know. Sometimes it's like riding a bike. Sometimes it's not like riding a bike. <laughs> Anyways, I am gonna just sit here and wait for dad to get started again. And I'm going to throw on my Taylor Swift so I can jam out. I just finished unloading for the first time. It's only been like a few minutes since I last talked to you guys, but it went pretty well considering I haven't unloaded a buggy in quite a while. Plus, I unloaded it tarp side, which means it's harder to see. Really, it's just harder to see. Dad is taking off a trunk of headland, so. I'm just sitting here waiting for him, and I thought I would chat with you guys a little bit. Not a whole lot has happened lately, well, I guess I just went to Iceland like a month ago, which is kind of exciting. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys know already because I posted quite a bit on my Instagram stories while I was there, but I went to Iceland for 10 days. So I finished work in August on the 27th or 26th or something, and then I flew to Iceland like the next day and stayed there for 10 days, and then by the time I came home, I had my first day of school, like right after. So. It just kind of lined up perfectly that I could get 10 days squeezed in there and I thought that would be a good amount of time to get around the whole um, ring road which is just a road that goes around a good chunk of the island. Um, so yeah, that is how I spent that. It was a really incredible trip. I did it all by myself. I've never done a solo trip before so that was a first. And honestly, I think the number one question I get is like if I felt safe and I did. like. There's even times where, like in Canada, when I go to the city or something, and something happens and I just, I feel really uncomfortable, but even there, the whole time I was there, when I went to Reykjavik, just traveling at campsites, everything, I felt totally safe, never felt uncomfortable, and the scenery was absolutely breathtaking. I 110% recommend the trip to anyone who would ever ask me. The only thing you have to do is mentally prepare yourself for very unpredictable weather, because you just simply never know what's going to happen. 
Okay, I have to back up. It's been a while since I backed up a buggy. I'm pretty sure I actually learned how to back up equipment on the buggy because it is the easiest thing to back up. The only thing is you can't really see behind you because it's so big it just completely blocks your view. So if something's behind you, you're gonna hit it. So I almost had that happen to me two years ago maybe. I think it was just like a roller or something random in the yard and I didn't see it because it just blocks your view. And I was really close to hitting it. Mom was just saying there like, stop, stop. And I was like, why? Oh, I forgot to say, but you guys are gonna figure it out pretty quick. Uh, we have Jess back and she is on buggy duty. So Mark is a very happy camper. I mean, we love having Monty helping too. Jack might go down and just visit with the family. Um, he's just come off a pretty long work week. So we're not really bugging him. Whereas Jess doesn't have any homework this weekend. So that's why we're, we asked and she kind of wants to do it. So she's gonna do it. A whole family affair this weekend. It's great. Is wetter of course because we did have uh, we've had off and on like drizzle for the last two days for sure two and a half so we started in this field it was 15% so uh, we've actually switched and the beans are not going in a bin they're actually going in our wet bin or our overhead I'll show you what that looks like in a sec um, and then we'll keep it in that bin and we'll either run it through the dryer or if we get into some more really dry beans We'll blend it off with the really dry ones if we don't have to dry beans. That would be kind of The goal, but if we have to that's okay, too. We're set up for it. priority is getting these beans off the ground out of the field and in a bin eventually What was I saying earlier though? Oh yeah, Iceland. Great trip, totally recommend. I filmed the entire time I was there, so I have 10 days worth of footage that I have been trying to get through while also doing my schoolwork, so it's been put on the back burner. But so far I have one video out and I'm working on the second one, so if you wanna check that out, head over to my channel once you're done this video, of course. We don't bring down retention in this club. Yeah, that's just a little life update. Okay, I should get back to my duties. I don't think you guys can see it, but Dad is currently outside of the combine, which is never a good thing because typically it means something is broken. I will keep you updated, but hopefully it's nothing serious. Fingers crossed. Look how pretty the sunset is. Sheesh, it's been a while since I've seen a nice one. You don't quite get those in the city. Well, I mean, you do, you just don't see them as well. Okay guys, it is obviously quite later now. It is seven o'clock 
and I think we are wrapping up here shortly thank goodness because I'm starving I made the mistake of only eating breakfast today because I woke up at okay I woke up at 10 I know it's really late but then I proceeded to lay in bed till 12 I'm not proud, but it happened. It's safe to say my cereal did not, uh, you know, hold me up for the day. I'm quite hungry. We are just about done though, and then I don't know what dad's plan is, if he's planning on planting this field or, yeah, I have no idea, so. Maybe we'll ask him right now. Are you planning on planting wheat in here, dad? Nope. Cool beans. <laughs> Get it? You're so funny. <laughs> okay. Almost done. I hate this record button, Mom. Also, look at these beautiful trees. I know it's kind of dark and my window is filthy. But they are so pretty. I love them. Some more over there. Oh, I love fall. Happy fall, y'all.